Let's be honest here, who doesn't love cute girls doing cute things? Shows of this type flood the anime medium, and there aren't that many shows of this type that stand out. So what makes Hani Yamada different, or deserving of all the praise I give it? But what's the point of telling you now? This is only the start of the review. So let's get started on our review on one of my personal favorite anime, Hani Yamada. The story of Hana Yamada is, well, it's exactly what you'd expect. Naru Sekia is a middle school girl who, besides a fascination with fairy tales, considers herself average in almost every regard, particularly in comparison to her friend Yaya, who is a drummer in an amateur band. Whilst walking home from an errand late at night, Naru comes across a blonde haired girl dancing in the moonlight, believing her to be a fairy and asking her to take her to another world. The girl invites Naru to dance with her, but Naru isn't confident enough and runs off, inadvertently taking a paddle with her. The next day, the girl who turns out to be an American transfer student named Hana starts asking Naru if she would like to take part in Yosukoi with her, but Naru is too intimidated by her forwardness and rejects her. The next day, as Hana continues to try and find members of her Yosukoi club, she explains to Naru that even though she's having no luck in finding members, she wants to pursue her dream of becoming a true Yosukoi dancer because it's her decision. Naru laments that she has no interest to speak of and considers herself empty, but Hana tells her that it simply means that she has plenty of room to discover new things. Moved by her words and admitting she has fun dancing with her, Naru offers to help Hana recruit members for her club and becomes friends with her. That description just screams average, but who said average was bad as long as it's done well. Another one of my favorite shows, Nizakoi, is average in every sense of the word, and yet both of these shows are in my top 10 list. This show completely takes average and makes it feel natural, giving you a heartwarming feeling after each episode. It also shines, becoming less like your average show with its serious undertones and its values, which are extremely relatable. The struggles to make friends as a kid, always feeling average, not wanting to take risks for fear of change, struggling to grow up and becoming a better person, failing at something after trying so hard with no reward. All these things were, and in some cases still are, extremely relatable to me, and it presents them so well. The reason this simple story works so well is because of the extremely well executed characters. It focuses less on the simple plot and focuses more on walking you through the character's backstory and uses the characters in such a way it presents the previously mentioned values and morals perfectly. This show does have its cliche moments, but none that I can't look past considering the type of show this is. One problem I found with this show is that from time to time it broke apart the more serious moments with funny faces or comedy scenes. This show sets up some really great moments, but were sometimes immediately broken apart by comedy, only to try to build it back up immediately after. This bothered me because when I'm in the midst of a serious moment, getting back to that mindset is hard. So when you throw in even a moment of comedy, it breaks that intense feeling. This was not a prominent thing that happens in every serious scene, and in the moments where it absolutely had to be serious, it was. But there are a few times when this happened, and it really makes me wish they hadn't thrown in that one instance of comedy afterwards. I think for a show like this, most people will, as the saying goes, judge a book by its cover. And there's one thing I've learned from watching Madoka Magica, that isn't the best way to go about it. On its surface, Hani Yamada may seem like just another cute girls doing cute things show we see all too often, and for the most part it is, but for me at least it was more. The morals and lessons this show presents are extremely relatable to my life, and the use of well-developed characters instead of focusing on all the things we normally see from an anime of this type make it feel more natural, and because of this make the simple story and concept that much better, not to mention the serious undertones and mature themes. This show was so much more than I expected, and because of this, I give the story an 8.5 out of 10. As I mentioned before, the characters for Hani Yamada are more than they appear on the surface. This show uses the characters to present its values, making them incredibly developed. The changes these characters go through as they learn these values sets up some great moments. Naru is very much of an introvert and is thoroughly engaged in her own world, therefore making friends for her can be very difficult. She loves reading fantasy, especially about princesses, but she does not think that she can be dazzling. Since she is already good at doing what she's used to doing, she is initially resistant to changing her own behavior patterns, even if it would lead to a more favorable outcome. For example, she is very conscientious of what people say and think about her. Even when focusing on things she cares about, she can be very clumsy, but usually in a very comedic way. She also blushes extremely easily because she works very hard to be accepted in public. On the other hand, she is very good at observing how others are doing emotionally. Regardless of how she views herself, she views others in an unusually positive light and will share her opinions and to encourage them. Nara's development is one truly worthy of praise as she learns to become more outgoing, take risks, and become more dazzling. Hana Fountainstan is a foreigner who moved to Japan, being there for a short time in her childhood. Hana is a very energetic girl who is fascinated with Yosukoi. She frequently gets overexcited and dances in rather dangerous places. However, she does not fail to 
to support her friends at a moment's notice. She depicts a very determined personality, not giving up on her search of Yosukoi members in the beginning. She's also very positive when it comes to Yosukoi, often cheering Naru up when Naru makes a mistake. Hana isn't the greatest character, but is needed to help some of the other characters grow, especially Naru. As the main character, she is one of the least developed, but isn't a bad character. Yaya Sasume is Naru's best friend. She often displays a cool personality, which Naru looks up to. Her development is also extremely well done and sets up a moment that was truly a high to the show. She is definitely a great character and also supports the values of this show extremely well. Tami Nishimikado, otherwise known to Naru as Tami Onichan, is the vice president of the student council. Tami comes from a wealthy family and had been studying ballet, piano, tea ceremony, and flower arrangement since she was young. Tami's development is above average, but in comparison to Naru and Yaya isn't nearly as good. Don't get me wrong though, it was really good. The final member of the Yosukoi Club is Machi Tokiwa, my least favorite character in the show, and to be 100% honest, the show could have done without her. She is the president of the student council, and her sister Sari is a teacher in the school, and her development plays on their relationship. Machi doesn't even join the Yosukoi Club until late in the show, and until she joins, she is just the type of character you don't like. The student council president type who denies the Yosukoi Club access to the roof, makes them find an advisor, threatens to close the club, and so on. Machi is probably my least favorite character in the show, and as I said before, could have easily been removed. Characters for Hani Yamada are truly where the show shines, really using the characters perfectly to portray the values of the show. The development is extremely well done for the most part with the exception of a few characters, and the interaction between them really makes this show shine. And in case you guys didn't realize, the name of the show comes in the first two letters in all the club members' names. Ha from Hana, Na from Naru, Ya from Yaya, Ma from Machi, and Ta from Tami. I thought it was a really nice touch as well. I give the characters in Hani Yamada an 8.75 out of 10. The art for Hani Yamada is truly something to behold. What else would you expect from the great madhouse? Shows like Parasite, b and heck, even No Game No Life all look beautiful and Hani Yamada is no exception. It displays a captivating art style and boasts some of the finest quality in animation. The bright color schemes and the vibrant art style really scream out youthful and beautiful, both adjectives of which are fitting of a story about middle school girls enjoying their youth. The flowery overtones go well with the theme that each of the girls represents some sort of flower, and overall, the art style helps to amplify the bright energy given off by the show. Some of the backdrops and sceneries are just downright gorgeous to look at and demonstrate the amount of effort that's been put into the show in terms of aesthetics. In terms of animation, the quality can be most directly seen whenever the girls are dancing. The scenes in which they dance are smoothly and naturally done. The animation for Hany Yamada appeals to me in every way possible. Colorful, bright, smooth, and detailed. Character designs really fit to a T as well, with the only exception being Hana's design, which I didn't particularly care for. The art and animation for this show is something to behold, and for that, I give the art and animation a 9 out of 10. The sound for Hana Yamada is one I enjoy. The opening for this show is one of, if not my favorite opening of all time for more than a few reasons. The opening song is sung by the voice actresses of the show, which is something I truly enjoy. The opening even plays a role in the story, using it as a track they make themselves to dance to, and implementing the fact that they sing the lyrics in the show itself. As you get more and more familiar with the show and the characters, you will start to hear the characters' voices within the opening, thus giving the song a feeling of intimacy non existing in the most opening song. It is often the small things that count, and details like this really made me love the show and the opening even more. But one thing about that is the rest of the soundtrack track isn't as good by comparison, and some might see the use of the opening in the show repetitive, but I see it as a plus rather than a downside seeing the circumstances. The voice actors fit perfectly portraying the character's cuteness and personality, while also doing an incredible job during the serious scenes portraying the intense emotions. I give the sound for Hani Yamada an 8.5 out of 10. Hani Yamada is a show that I enjoyed thoroughly. The story and contest might be average in nature, but the values and morals the show presents makes it extremely relatable, and using the characters and showing their backstories and development rather than focusing on the cute girls doing cute things aspect separates it and makes it feel more natural rather than average. The characters are extremely well developed, and I enjoyed watching them interact, learn the values, and watch them change as the show progressed. The animation is amazing and displays captivating scenery and excellent animation during the dancing scenes. The sound is memorable mainly because of this show's fantastic opening song sung by the main voice actresses, who are all amazing and their roles respectively. So taking all the scores from each category and averaging them all up, story getting an 8.25, characters getting an 8.75, art and animation a 9, sound an 8.5, my personal enjoyment getting a 9. That gives Hani Yamada an overall score of 8.7. My personal enjoyment is incredibly high for the show, maybe I'm being a bit too generous, but this is my review and I can rate this show as I please. For what it is, I think this show is exceptional. If you are worried that this show will be just another cute girls doing cute things show, just remember what you thought Madoka Magica was going to be when you looked at the cover of the first few episodes. As the saying goes, never judge a book by its cover. To be honest, the only reason I picked this show up was because the opening was really catchy. I expected average, but what I got was much more. As for alternate recommendations, I recommend my personal favorite anime, Sakura Sound no Penna Kanojo, for a show that is similar to Hani Yamada but has a more serious tone. And in case you didn't know, Sakura Sound and Hani Yamada were done by the same director. As for alternate opinions, I recommend you check out Tipper Anime's review, which will be down in the description. So that wraps up my review of Hani Yamada today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Uh, don't forget to vote for the next video in this straw poll down in the description and I will see you guys